respected correspondent sir, principal sir, guru bandhus, dear teachers, parents and students. I wish you a wonderful morning. I feel honored to have the opportunity to speak on this special occasion of the 75th anniversary of our country's independence. This is indeed very, very special, so thank you. 15th August 1947 marked the end of nearly 200 years of British colonial rule in India. And this year marks the 75th anniversary of India's independence. It is a huge milestone in our country's history. We are gathered here today to celebrate and to pay tribute to the bravery and dedication of hundreds of freedom fighters without whose sacrifice we wouldn't be living in an independent India today. Ms. Nikta has already shared things about India's independence and I know all, all of you learn a lot about our country's independence, freedom struggle, freedom fighters through your teachers and textbooks. So today instead, I thought it would be interesting to bring forth a new aspect of freedom to you, something that you might not have thought about much. Freedom. The term freedom is very vast. It can denote different types of freedom. Political freedom, social liberty, religious freedom, freedom of speech, financial freedom, personal freedom, and so many more. But today, let us explore an aspect of freedom called internal freedom. Children, have you heard of this, internal freedom? No, okay. So what is internal freedom? Internal freedom is a state in which we are not just free from external control, but also free from internal restrictions. It means having the right and the power to choose one's own behavior and to choose how to feel and what to do. So, what do you think? Are you free? Children, do you think you have internal freedom? Yes? Okay, so let me ask you a few questions. Okay? Number one, raise your hand if you have hit, okay, down first. <laughs> let me ask you the question. <laughs> raise your hand if you hit the snooze button on the alarm multiple times before waking up. Does your mo yeah, very good. Does your mother have to wake up, wake you up many times, little ones? Yes, okay. Raise your hand if you sincerely made New Year's resolutions and broke them a few days later. Oh, okay. Okay, raise your hands if you sometimes, if sometimes your mind has unnecessarily worrying thoughts and you cannot stop thinking. Wow, look at that, wow. Okay, now raise your hands. Well, I haven't asked you anything yet. <laughs> Little ones down. Yeah, okay. Raise your hand if you thought of checking just one Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok post, but ended up scrolling through your feed and lost track of time. <laughs> uh, now, last question. Raise your hand if you thought of eating just one chip but ended up eating the whole packet. 
very good okay so remember i asked you before down hands down yes so remember i asked you before if you had internal freedom and all of you answered yes but now after me asking so many questions maybe we need to think isn't it so internal freedom what did we say internal freedom was it was the ability to choose what to do how to feel and choose your behavior isn't it but are you able to choose no if you want to eat only one chip but you eat the entire packet you want to watch only one post but you scroll on social media for hours and hours yes yes okay so we've all experienced this we've all experienced lack of self control i would like to bring attention to a couple of aspects of this i am sure you've heard many of these things before but i would like to share them again so please be patient with me number 1 do you know why the notification on your facebook instagram twitter anything any notification is red in color do you know why yes no no yes why somebody say, there says yes why <laughs> yes good somebody said danger very good yes so the notification button can be any color it can be white it can be blue it can be green but no it is specifically designed to be red and it could be any kind of red it could be light red it could be dark red it could be maroon but no it is specifically designed to give your brain a sense of urgency a sense of danger so when you get a notification with a number 1 or 5 in red color your brain immediately wants to clear it it immediately wants to get rid of it so that's why whenever you get a notification you cannot stop yourself from clicking on it so many things like this in the social media platform are created to be addictive they are created to make us click more and more on it now i will ask you another question the it's an interesting fact actually in a recent study it was shown that addiction to social media platforms is worse than being addicted to cigarettes and alcohol so that is really dangerous did you know that Oh you did. Oh wow. How many of you are addicted to social media then? <laughs> Again, very honest children. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will ask you another question. Do you know why when chips are made at home, you only eat a few, but when it comes from a lace packet, you cannot stop eating? very good because it has processed chemicals good so the process you can sit down good the processed chemical that is put in all the junk food that you eat is called msg so this msg makes the food tastier and it makes you hungry did you know that it not only does make your food tasty but it makes you more hungry so let's say you eat three packets of processed chips after a few minutes you will feel hungry again so that is what the chemical does to your body it also has other side effects like headache dizziness heart palpitations and so on anyway i am sure you can find all this information online and i'm sure your parents are educating about 
all of these things to you, whether it's social media platforms or junk food. Today, I bring all of these up to ask you again and to trigger the sense of inquiry in you to ask yourself, are you in control of your behavior and are you in control of your emotions? Okay, so let us find ways and let us explore ways on this special day to go back home and improve our sense of internal freedom, okay? So there are two things, guys, I want you to do. Yes, children, two things I would like us to do today. Number one, let us be grateful that we live in an independent country. But as we know, we are not just Indians, but also world citizens. Yes, what do we say in our school pledged every day? I love my country and strive to realize the ideal of being a world citizen. Very good. So on this particular day, as we feel grateful for our country's independence, let us pray that many other countries around the world who are still fighting for their independence and freedom, like South Sudan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and many other such countries also experience this wonderful gift of freedom and independence. Yes? Okay, number two. Do you know the first line of our school pledge? Okay. Okay, may my mind be always given to the spirit of inquiry. Very good. So today, I urge you to inquire into this aspect of internal freedom and ask yourself honestly, am I truly free within? Is my behavior truly reflecting my goals, aspirations, emotions, or are they being influenced by someone or something external? If the answer is no, I do not have internal freedom, then you must explore ways to become free and take back control of your mind. Each and every one of you present here today represents the future of our planet. And if we wish to build a world that is truly free and independent, it must begin here, within our hearts and minds. Unless we are truly free within, we cannot build a world that is truly free on the outside. Thank you and a wonderful 75th Independence Day to everyone. Namaste.